Welcome to the Cat Power Podcast, where we deliver powerful insights into the world of Caterpillar oil and gas, showcasing the latest in technological advancements and highlighting the stories of the industry's most dynamic leaders. I'm your host, Sergio Tijera. Now let's get ready to power up with the Cat Power Podcast. And welcome to the Cat Power Podcast. You can catch this and each and every episode on the YouTube channel, as well as any of your favorite platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or anywhere you catch your podcast. So today we have a really special guest on from the Cat Oil and Gas Division. It's Chris Berry. He's joining us from Houston, Texas. Welcome, Chris. Thanks, Sergio. Pleasure to be here. Hey, I love that accent, man. I love that accent. I got we gotta I gotta learn that <laughs> from Miami. So, Chris, we're gonna be talking about the the new cat land drilling energy storage systems. But before we get into that exciting world, let's talk about you, man. You know, wh- what's your story? How how did you get to where you are today? I think you've been with Cat for about 12, 13 years. Give me that a little bit of background on you. Yeah, sure. Um, so Chris Berry, uh drilling account manager, cat oil and gas, uh, joined Caterpillar. Geez, yeah, pushing 13 years now, joined into our UK office and uh, spent a few years covering Southern Africa, so supporting our dealers down in Southern Africa there on different oil and gas projects, and uh, then moved to the Middle East, so it was based out of Dubai for six years for Cat Oil and Gas, again, supporting our our dealers and customers in the drilling and oil and gas space uh, before, you know, coming over to uh, to Houston, Texas to uh, to sort of manage and, and lead the uh, the drilling account space. Well, you you've been in some of the the, the meccas of of oil and drilling, huh? <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably been a, a fun career so far, and some some great uh, some great assignments. Yeah. Now, w- when you were over in the Middle East, where were you living in in Dubai? I was living in Dubai, yes, and covering uh, yeah the GCC and, and North Africa um, for in terms of territories and and our dealers out there and. Uh, some some international and national customers. So yeah, it is it is a fun couple of years. Well, that's and see that's one of the great things about CAD is that uh, you know you got this great coverage all over the world um, with you know guys like yourself and others in the space that are providing that expertise. You know, no matter where they are, some of the most remote locations, uh, especially in, in in drilling over there, um, you are in some very remote locations where you could you know when when you need parts, you can get them there, which is amazing. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'm sure you have some great stories. Great, great point, and uh, yeah, uh, we're very lucky to have our global dealers. You know, tremendous footprint. Um, so uh, it was just a joy and a pleasure to to work with you know our local dealers and you know in, in my career in Southern Africa and then uh, North Africa and the GCC supporting our our global and, and national customers over there. So uh, yeah, it, it 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 helps having uh, you know the local dealers, tremendous partners of ours. Yeah. Now, when when you went to school, did you study engineering? I did not. I was actually a business grad. I was in the business economic school uh, in the UK uh, before before joining CAP. Interesting. So it's been a big learning curve, then, right? All the the, uh, the oil side. <laughs> it's quite yeah, technical. And it doesn't and it doesn't stop every day. You know, we're learning something new. Uh, it's very dynamic industry. Uh, a lot of awesome technology and efficiencies uh, gains are out there. So. Uh, definitely learning every day. Absolutely. Don't stop. Yeah. That's, that's one of the great things about, uh, about companies like this and, and the industries, right. Is that you have this growth mindset. You're always looking to, for, you know, small, but meaningful gains that in the long term add up to really big gains. And some of the technical expertise that, that cat has inside is second to none. So it's very, very cool. You're in a great space and a great industry. So, so now you're in, in Houston You've been there for a bit, and you're you're in this division. What's the biggest change in perspective or an experience? You know, from being out in the Middle East to to being out here. Obviously, the oil is different, right? And so are some of the companies and the way they go about it. Uh, well, funny enough, you know, uh, our customers and and you know some of their goals don't change. You know, whether they're you know operating offshore or land middle east or even the us here um very shared goals between between our customers right you know and those goals can change depending on what they have to do and who their end customer is or or what their application is right so uh but uh no i you know is in terms of the drillers no matter where you are you know that they're, they're always striving for efficiency gains how can they be the best driller in the world and how can we as caterpillar help them supply you know the best power quality in the world to 
to uh, drive their efficiencies and and complete their their own you know company goals right so yeah and and drilling is one of these uh types of industries in, in the oil industry that it's is 24 7 365 it does not stop right and when you do stop it, there's a huge problem because you're not producing you're not pumping oil out of the ground so you know, reliability and you know uh, you know having your machines running is tremendously important there are in uh, times where things happen right and so Let's talk a little bit about the uh, the land drilling energy storage systems that you guys have come out with. Why did you come out with it? What's the point and what problem is it solving? No, and, and you make a great point there, Sergio. You know, uptime is is key for our customers, right? And, and it is very much a 24-7 uh, uh, industry. So, you know, being able to respond and, and support our customers as, as they go about their, their business is key. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, why why the energy storage right so certainly you know caterpillar we're always listening to our customers you know voice of customer and um you know we we were being sort of uh pulled by our customers to say hey you know we need to be enabled to run on 100 percent natural gas um you know in the drilling space this is as well as uh you know supplementary um power for highline or grid tie as well um and you know certainly in that realm um you know energy storage is a great great fit of technology um to enable them uh, to do just that uh not only that you know we we mentioned about the efficiencies of our customers right um you know they were you know again very close to our customers you know that they're, they're driving for efficiency gains how can they lower their total cost of ownership right, right. Um, how can they lower their emissions footprint uh as well and, and lower fuel consumption so these were some of the key drivers where, you know, which led to, uh, you know, Caterpillar developing uh, the energy storage system. Interesting. And so, yeah, NOx particulates and, and carbon footprint obviously is a huge, huge topic and, and it's not going away, right? We, we all need to find ways to consume less, do things in a more energy efficient manner. And you guys are leading the charge in that space. And so how is this doing that? How is this solving that problem? No, good, good, good point. And, uh, you know, we, we're always looking at, okay, our customers, very valued customers have invested in Caterpillar for a long time. So how can we, you know, further optimize, uh, you know, the uh, the solutions they have on the ground and further expand that with, with the energy storage, of course. So, you know, part of the the uh, development here is, you know, with the, what we call the microgrid uh, master controller. And we've leveraged this from our space and uh, or our time in this space over a a decade in the inverter space and you know around six years in the microgrid space uh, but we could bring in this microgrid master controller as part of the solution with the inverter and that more effectively manages what how we're managing the power supply on the rig to provide the most efficient uh, power for the drilling rig uh, demand right so knowing for example when i need to bring engines on and offline automatically when the energy storage needs to supplement power um, and again further enabling you know using gas generators for example in this space you know with the supplementary power for energy storage so uh, certainly you know there's a a lot of focus in our our solution here is in, in the controls and the inverter space on you know whether it's the gen sets on the rig but you know like we met like we mentioned the the microgrid master controller is capable of managing not only the gen sets but wind solar power, power for example and managing different energy types um, depending on the customer application of course and if i recall so natural gas doesn't respond too well when when there's different load factors right when you you need more energy more power it's not as quick to react is that why you need the the batteries to take on some of that extra load yeah, so uh, certainly drilling on natural gas is is, is not new to the industry. Uh, the drillers have been yeah. doing this uh, many years, but uh, certainly you know the development uh, Caterpillar has put in place uh, and invested in our lean burn technology. The gas engine and gas uh, gen set itself has come a long way uh, in in the last couple of years in terms of how it can react to transient loads, as you as you describe. But for sure. If you compare a gas gen set to that of uh, the diesel, uh, for example, it is not as quick to respond uh, to transient loads. 
even though it's come a long way in its journey. So that's exactly where the energy storage comes in to, to inject power, to supplement that power so the driller themselves get that same, if not better, power quality and performance as if they were on diesel, for example, but having the benefit of running 100% natural gas and all those all the benefits that come along with that, of course, you know, like I said before, uh, uh, you know, reducing emissions, uh, the fuel save, of course, and uh, the optimization piece. So when did this come out? Is it is it readily available right now uh, across or are you guys testing it? Where is it at right now? It's in development. Absolutely. So it, 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 it's it's launched by Caterpillar now. Um, like I, I touched on before, you know, our journey in the inverter space has been over a decade and we've leveraged some of the technology Caterpillar put out there, geez, yeah, about a decade ago in our mining and construction uh, industries. Uh, and then six years ago, Caterpillar invested and, and launched our microgrid uh, team. So we're, we're, we were actually able to uh, leverage a lot of these key technologies that were already out in very robust uh, industries already and uh, pull that in. And uh, as such, yeah, the energy storage and, and the gas solution is is now readily available through, uh, through Caterpillar's uh, dealer network. And so can this be added on very simply, very easily to existing equipment out there? Absolutely. So actually, a lot of the installs we've done uh, thus far have been in the field installs. So, you know, we've, uh, we've, we've gone out to the pad, we've gone out to the side and and working with the schedule of the uh, the drilling contractor and the E and P, have managed to uh, to deploy and uh, you know not affect uh, their uh, their drilling program. Uh, you know whether that's between pad moves, uh, rig moves, you know just for example. But uh, yeah, absolutely can be deployed uh, retroactively. Yes, sir. The results that you're seeing in terms of percentage, you know, improvements, and, you know, NOx reduction and so forth. What what are you guys seeing in that space? Yeah, so uh, you know, what one one of our installs uh, up in Wyoming has been running, geez, over twelve thousand hours now. So some great mileage under its belt, and we're seeing yeah, great gains in reducing uh, the NOx um, uh, NOx reduction, uh, yeah. GHGs and, and the PM and uh, the uh, you know the particular matter particular matter that uh, you mentioned before. So yeah, d definitely some some great step changes from uh, you know. From what they had been running on before to now running the gas hybrid system uh, across the board in, yeah, on the emissions side, yeah. You guys are doing some amazing things in that space, and you know what's the future like? You know, if you look, if you look ten years, twenty years from now, what, where is the industry heading in terms of sustainable production? What, what do you guys see? What does Caterpillar see coming out there in, in the future? Well, I, I think you know as we continue on this journey and and. Uh, you know, our, our customer base are very actively engaged with Caterpillar, asking us to to work with them on understanding their baseline performance. You know, today and, and what that fleet of the future or operation of the future looks like, right? And and how can Caterpillar work with our customer base on on that journey? Um, you know, we, we mentioned before, depending on where you are in the world and and where you're drilling, for example, they may even have different KPIs, different goals. Um, so, you know, we're working with, you know, each customer to understand what those goals are and how can we leverage and further utilize existing assets and, you know, wh where it makes sense to deploy, uh, you know, new solutions in, in addition to those to, to meet those goals. Um, again, you know, uh, emissions reductions, you know, fuel reductions, keeping the uptime there, you know, essential to our customer base uh, for sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, from what we've been discussing with our our customers, whether that's the driller and the EMPs, uh, definitely, you know, a need um, and uh, a willingness to uh, to run on on gas and where possible field gas, right? So can we use the energy that's there on site and, uh, you know, run on the field gas to power? So that that's uh, definitely a key theme right now. And just when you think you can't get any more efficient, we find another way to do it, <laughs> combining yeah. different technologies, right? Uh, absolutely so, absolutely. I, I always compare these gains to, you know, it's kind of similar to like a Formula One team, right? You're looking for tenths of a second. You're looking for these these micro advantages that you wouldn't, you can't notice necessarily, you know, just by looking at it. But you're you're noticing it on your bottom line, and you're noticing it by starting on the pole or in the top three, you know. And right. uh, it makes a huge difference because it's it's so competitive out there, and you know every organization out there is just trying to 
to shave, right? Because it starts adding up and accumulating into huge, you know, profits or huge uh, cost savings and and you know particulate reductions. Let's say over time. Yeah, and funny you should mention that on one of our last installs, the uh, the EMP referred to the you know the new Cap G thirty five twelve hybrid with the energy storage solution as you know the Formula One. Oh really? <laughs> so they they were just delighted with 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 some of the performance they were seeing. Uh, based on prior experience of you know running different systems, yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, that's that's great. We're thinking alike. We're thinking alike. Yeah, exactly. I think I'm excited because Formula One's coming to Miami, which is where I'm at, and you know yeah. I'm a big fan and and went to many races and so forth. So man, fantastic. So where else can can customers and and dealers find out more information about this if they're interested in checking it out or getting a demo of some kind, in pricing? You know, how does that work? No, yeah, great, great point. I, I always say, please reach out to, uh, you know, the, the local cat dealer. Uh, you know, our cat dealers uh, have tremendous amount of information at their fingertips on on the solution. Uh, we've, we've got uh, great training out there through the dealers, as well as uh, marketing materials, uh, of course, pricing, um, as well as uh, demonstration videos we can, uh, we can supplement with. And, you know, the step one is always you know, getting together with, uh, you know, the customer, the dealer, ourselves to understand how are you operating as your baseline and what, what, what's the best solution to, uh, to move the needle depending on that particular customer's KPIs or goals. Um, so we, 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 we cherish and always look forward to those uh, conversations with, with our customers. Yeah, bringing in outside eyes and ears, and it's so important, right? And not only in, in, your, in your business, in oil, but in life in general, right? Bring in other people to see their point of view because it opens your eyes. Maybe there's things that you're not seeing because of blind spots that you've had over, over working there for so long. It's great to bring in some fresh perspectives, keep things, uh, you know, interesting, and 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 seeing some things that you're not seeing. And that's really powerful when it comes to to this space and and the expertise that Caterpillar and the dealers bring to helping clients succeed. So that is that's a fantastic approach. Yeah, you know, as an industry, right, everyone's driving for the same goals, you know, so, you know, Caterpillar's, you know, strength here is for sure, you know, we're a global organization with a great global footprint from our dealers, which means we're close to our customers wherever geographically they are. And again, there's always best practices, right, you know, depending on how they're doing something can, you know, for example, the Eastern Hemisphere to South America to the lower 48. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's never a one size fits all, but, you know, customers collectively are all striving for those efficiency gains and uh you know having that perspective and uh, that voc is tremendous yeah yeah get one percent better every day that's what i uh, say absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely well for coming from south africa to the middle east to houston you bring a wealth of experience in in the space and i'm sure you're going to be a, a tremendous value to, to folks so make sure to reach out to chris directly no, just kidding. No, you reach out to your <laughs> dealer and, and Chris will be there in the background supporting everybody and, and providing that expertise as needed. Uh, Chris, any final words? No, Sergio, I, just a pleasure to be uh, invited here and speak with you today. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just tremendously, tremendously excited about, you know, the, the hybrid system that Caterpillar has with the energy storage. And then coupled with, you know, what we've, the investment we've made in technology in our lean burn gas system, it's just a great marriage of technologies. So we're just super excited, you know, working with our customers on their ESG goals. So uh, th thanks for having me on the show and and uh, speaking with me today. Loved having you on, Chris. And thank you guys so much for being a part of the Cat Power podcast. Make sure to catch this in every episode. Smash that subscribe button to make sure you get notified every time one of these comes out. You know, we're talking to leaders all across the marine oil and gas division, all types of topics, real good value and very entertaining too, because we're talking about Formula One and Lewis Hamilton as well. And so <laughs> we're made, we're blending, you know, edutainment here in, in the Cat Power podcast. All right, my friend, thanks for having us here with you and signing off until next time. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please follow and rate us and be sure to share it with a friend so that you can power up their life and their career.